Hey, it's Dale here from Mindsight Studios. In this video, I'm going to show you some surprising uses for the Follow Me tool in SketchUp. Let's get started. Number one, make a sphere. Although there is no sphere tool in SketchUp, it only takes a few seconds to make a sphere using the Follow Me tool. First, I'm going to right click Empty Space and choose Make Component so I can set the axis location and name my sphere. Using the circle tool, I'll draw out a circle on the ground plane with the center of the circle at the axis location of the component. The circle will be the extrusion path. Next, I'll tap the left arrow to lock the circle tool to the green plane so I can draw the extrude face. I'll inference upwards from the axis location, click to start the circle, and then click again on the axis to complete it. I'll first select the path of the extrusion, the bottom circle, and then I'll switch to the Follow Me tool. I always recommend pre-selecting the extrusion path before selecting the extrusion face. With the Follow Me tool now active, I just click the circle to revolve it around the path to form the sphere. Lastly, I'll erase the path circle and exit the component. Now I can easily drop the sphere component into another location in my model from the component browser. Number two, filleting edges. In addition to normal extrusions, the Follow Me tool can also be used to perform subtractive extrusions. Here I have a simple cube. I'll draw a line to represent the chamfer profile at the top and an arc to use as the fillet profile for the bottom. Rather than selecting the edges as the extrusion profile, SketchUp also allows you to select an entire face, in which case the outer edges of the face will be used as the extrusion path. I'll select the face, switch to follow me, and then click the chamfer profile. Next, I'll select the bottom face, switch to follow me, and then click the fillet profile to round the bottom edge. Things get a bit trickier when trying to create a fillet on a more complex shape like this. In this case, I'll create a temporary group and draw my fillet profile inside of it. Next, I'll position the profile in the proper location. I'll tap the arrow key to lock the move tool to the vertical axis. Switching to x-ray mode, I can see that the profile is positioned correctly. Now I'll explode the temporary group because I need the profile face to be able to merge with the rest of the geometry for the follow me tool to work correctly. Finally, I'll select the top face as the extrusion path, switch to follow me, and then select the profile to create this nicely rounded edge. Number three make a lamp. There are a number of ways to make a lamp in SketchUp, but by using the Follow Me tool, you get a bit of extra flexibility. Here, I've already set up my extrusion path and the lamp profile, but notice that I've created the lamp profile using more than one face, and each face is in a separate group. Many experienced SketchUp users don't know that you can use the Follow Me tool to extrude a face that is inside another group. This example also shows that the profile does not need to be connected to the extrusion path for the Follow Me tool to work. I'll select the circle, then switch to Follow Me. Now I'll right click the lamp stand group and click Edit Group so that I can now select the profile face. Surprisingly, the tool still performs the proper revolve. Next, I'll select the circle, but I'll use the Entity Info panel to change the number of segments for the circle to four. I'll perform the same steps as before to extrude the remaining lamp profiles. Number four, making grooves. In addition to filleting edges, it is possible to cut grooves in faces. Here I've already set up the groove profile in a temporary group. I'll move the profile group while using inference locking to ensure that the profile is in the correct position. Next, I'll explode the profile group select the extrude path, and then switch to follow me. When I click the profile, the groove will be extruded. I can also create grooves on a single face using the same technique. Number five, multi-extrusion. Let's say I wanted to create a pipe run containing multiple pipes of different diameters along a complex path like this. If I first draw a rectangle and then create all of the pipe profiles inside the rectangle, 
I can use that face to extrude along my path. I'll triple click to select all connected geometry, but then I'll hold shift and drag a window around the profile face to deselect it, leaving only the path selected. Now I can switch to follow me, click the face and perform the extrusion. When I delete the outer faces of the extrusion, I can see that the voids were extruded to form the pipes. Now I just need to reverse the faces, do some cleanup and I'm done. Number six, make a hipped roof. Hipped roofs are one of the most complex types of roofs to create, but by using Follow Me, you can do it in just a few minutes. First, use the Protractor tool to create a guideline for your roof slope. I'll tap the left arrow to lock my protractor to the green plane. Then I'll click the edge of my roof as the first reference point. Next, I'll click another point to define the horizontal reference line for my roof slope. Now I can simply type in 6 colon 12 to create a guideline as the reference to draw my roof profile. I'll select the top of my building, switch to follow me, and then click the roof profile to create the extrusion. Then I'll triple click, making sure I have all of the roof geometry selected, right click, and choose intersect faces with model. Now it's just a matter of using the eraser tool to remove the unneeded edges and faces for this roof. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.